Hello, and thank you for joining us today. If you are new to our channel, please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button for this video. Today, we will be talking about knee supports, more specifically, a neoprene knee support with spiral stays and a horseshoe stabilizer. Let's first touch base on why this would be useful. This brace helps support chondromalacia patella, infra subpatellar bursitis, lateral tracking patella, Osgood-Schlatter disease, patellar instability, patellar pain syndrome, patellar subluxation, and patellar tendonitis. This stabilizer comes with a removable horseshoe that can be adjusted depending on the stability needs of the knee. The purpose of the horseshoe is to provide increased pressure around the patella for patella tracking issues. The spiral stays in the brace provide medial and lateral stability. So to simplify, if your knee needs support side to side and feels unstable, or your kneecap needs support in any direction, this brace can help you out. The neoprene material it is made out of helps to keep the joint warm and is easy to pull on and adjust with the Velcro straps. Let's quickly go over picking the right size brace. The instructions for the brace have you measure at the center of your kneecap to determine the size. This will get you close to the size you need. Let's go over how to put this brace on. First off, the horseshoe needs to be placed where you need the support. Talking to your doctor or therapist about this placement is recommended. Once you have the placement of the insert, slide the support up over the knee. In my experience, pulling the brace just above where you want it and adjusting the straps down at that point is useful as when you start to walk, the brace will naturally slide down the leg and fall into place right where you want it. Be careful when adjusting the straps, not to over tighten to inhibit circulation. That's all there is to it. Please note that when you put the brace on before adjusting the straps, it should fit snug, but you should still be able to fit a finger or two between the brace and your leg. You do not want the brace to be too loose as it won't provide the support you need. At the same time, you don't want it to be too tight to inhibit circulation. Care instructions are fairly simple for this brace. You want to make sure you hand wash it with cold water with mild soap. Wrap it in a towel to remove excess water and air dry it away from the heat. Do not tumble dry or use bleach. So if you're experiencing instability in the knee or patella, this may be a good solution to talk to your doctor or therapist about. Thank you for joining us today for the short instructional video. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. See you next time.